Okay, my students are working on turning nets into geometric uh, shapes. Now, here we have an example of a net. And when I look at this particular net, it does have faces on it. I mean, here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 16, 20. It does have 20 faces on it. But it also has some tabs. And I don't want any of my students to make the error in looking at these shaded areas and think those are tabs or faces as well. I mean, those are faces. They're just tabs. They're tabs that are meant to hold glue. They're to provide surface area for glue. So when we cut this shape out and we bend it in the appropriate places or fold it, that we can apply glue to those tabs and it'll stay in place. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this particular shape. And I really want all my students to be active listeners. I want everybody to stop fidgeting to what they're doing because I have some kids who are trying to work ahead and they're trying to cut some things out. If you'll watch this technique I'm going to show you, then it'll make it a lot easier for you, especially when it comes time to make the bends and the folds. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this shape out. Now, I'm going to pull up the document camera that we're using so we can get a better view of what exactly it is I'm doing. So I'm going to first do a large cutout, and I used a construction paper or a card stock so that the paper would be a little bit... Uh, a little bit better at holding its shape. It seems like typing paper is a little bit flimsy, so I want something to hold its shape better. So now I'm going to go ahead and carefully cut this out the best I can. And I'm going to try to cut it out along lines like this. But if I were at home and my girls had this activity as a homework assignment, I was helping my two daughters, I'd probably get a cutting board out and I would uh, get an X-Acto knife and I would make my cuts that way. That's, that's probably what I would do. Okay. Now, I don't want to completely get rid of my lamp, but it's putting out a little bit of light that I don't want, so let me, let me get rid of it. So now I'll go ahead and finish making my cuts. Exacto knife would be a really good uh, tool for this, but we don't have exacto knives, so we're just going to use our scissors. <coughs> Okay, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to make a, a, some little cuts like this. I'm going to make a whole bunch of them. I'm not going to make the, the little triangle, triangle, triangular cutouts all at once. I'm just going to go ahead and make a bunch of these all at once, and I'll come back and cut out those uh, parts I don't need. And I'll make little triangles. And, well, I'll just go ahead and cut those out. <coughs> and it, it does make it look a lot neater when, uh, when, it, when somebody uh, takes their time and cuts it out. And my objective today with this activity that we're wrapping up, we actually started it yesterday towards the end of class, is I'm going to call students up using a random reporter method. I'll just draw out the team name and the number of the kids sitting at that table. And they'll get up here and they'll tell us the name of the shape. That's why I did not say the name of this particular shape, because there's going to be a child who's going to show theirs up here. And then they're going to talk about how many faces it has and uh, tell us a little bit more information about it. Now, I've got some little parts right here, and I am going to try to cut those out as well. I'm going to try to cut those out as well because it, I don't think it really hurt it, but it might, it might cause a problem when I'm going to do my uh, folds. So I want to make sure that I cut right on those lines. I've had students who have done this activity, and I will be I'm supplying uh, a website for where I got these shapes. And if you do not cut them out exactly, it's going to look sloppy. It's not going to look very neat. Okay. So it looks like I've about got it done, except this one little snippet here. Okay. So here is my shape now. So that's that's what it looks like. And you can see good contrast against the veneer on this table. I see uh, where the cuts are. Now what I have to do is fold or bend this shape 
on the line. And this is how I would do that. I'm going to take a ruler, and every child in this room has a ruler provided for them. So they're going to get the rulers, and they're going to use those rulers to help. It's the, it's the easiest way to do it, because you're going to have to fold these little tabs, and it's so hard to fold those without curling them over if you don't do it the right way. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that. So what I would do is I've got my tabs right here. And let me zoom in to show this a little bit. Let me zoom in a little bit here. So I'm going to take my ruler or a straight edge. I've used a protractor. I've used all kinds of things. Just as long as you have a, a straight edge, you can, you can accomplish this. And I'm going to use it, and I'm going to hold down the tab, and I'm going to lift the rest of the shape up against it. And I'm going to run my thumb along the back here, and I have folded those tabs. I folded those tabs. Now I'm going to do it this way, and I'm just going to hold it to the line, and I'm going to raise it up and fold it this way. Now I'm not going to try to lift this up. If I do it so tiny, it's not going to it's going to tear, or I'll make a mess of it. But what I have done is I folded on this line here, and this tab now is folded upwards. It's folded up. So I'm focusing on the tab on this side and getting these triangles or these faces in the right way. So I'm going to lift this up again, and I'll come back and get those other little tabs here in a second. So I'm going to put it here, raise up again. And then I'm going to come over here. And I might actually just go ahead and hold it like this. I'm going to hold it like this and raise up like this. But then I still have to get this tab, so I'm better, I guess I better get it like this too. But at least it gave me something to grip like that. Now I'm just going to turn it and go the other way. So I got this tab here, and I'm just doing this just for those just for those tabs that I need to do. Here's one little tab. Here's one. I'm gonna hold it down that line, raise up. Here's one. Hold on that line, raise up. There. Now I'm gonna do these straight lines here, and I've also got these other lines I'm gonna have to fold on. So every single line has to be folded on. You have to fold every one of them. So I'm gonna first hold it like this, and you can see those triangles there in the, underneath it, and raise up. I'm going to raise up all the way. Okay. Now, I'm going to hold it like this. Hold this down. I'm going to raise up. Now, it is getting a little bit difficult because I don't have a lot of space here, but I'm, I'm getting it. And now I'm just going to go ahead and get these. Let's see, I've got Okay, yeah, I've got them all, except for this one. Hold down. There. Okay, so it was a process, and I see I've got a little tear here, but if I'm really careful with it, it'll be okay. So I've got... I have that, but I guess I better go get them all. Let's see. You might find that you have to go back and fold it again, like I did just then. This is a complicated shape, and students <coughs> asked me this one in particular to demonstrate, so that's why I'm doing this one. It's nice that they just picked a rectangular prism. It wouldn't take me a fraction of this time. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm not finding glue just yet. I want to see what shape this is going to make. And I can pretty much see with 20 faces, it's going to be almost round as a ball. It's going to be like a faceted ball is what it's going to be like. But let's just kind of see what happens as I try to roll it together a little bit as I roll it and it does look like it is going to come together to make a faceted ball. Now I'm looking around and people are looking shocked. Did you not think when you first saw this flat shape, uh, Madison, it was going to take the shape almost like a spear? No. See that's the thing about nets. You can look at a net and think what in the world kind of shape is that going to make but this is almost going to look like that big thing at Disney World, I think they have like, a, I don't remember which park it is, but they have that big giant faceted spear. Uh, um, anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's it called? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't remember what it's called either. I've been right there. I can't remember what it's called. It's like Malaco. 
But anyhow, I'm going to now, <clears throat> I'm going to now put blue on my tabs. And this is what I want to point to students also. If, if the way it's curled like this, I'm not going to try to build it, and, and, ha and this will be on the outside anyhow, I want it to be on the inside. So I'm going to put my glue like here, because this is going to get tucked under something. And I'm going to try <coughs> to put the glue on every one of those tabs. And so come on if you have this type of glue. It comes on purple. It comes on purple, but it will uh, it'll, it'll dry clear. So let me go ahead and, and minimize a little bit so you can see a little better. Okay. Now let me kill that lamp. I hate that that glares. Okay. So I'm putting the, uh, the glue on it. Now, I will say this. If I had enough scotch tape for every child in here, we would be using scotch tape. One of the things that does get a little bit frustrating is when you glue these tabs and it does not bond instantly and you're having to hold on to it for, for some time. So I'm going to cheat here in a minute I'm going to use some scotch tape. I just want to give you an idea of how you can do it. Now, very carefully, very carefully place those tabs underneath. Very carefully, I'm placing all my tabs the best I can underneath. No, it's not impossible. It's not. It's not impossible. Now, now you kids are getting a little bit excited, but trust me, trust me, I had some students who were able to do this shape without me, my even demonstrating it. So, like I said, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put a little tape on mine. If you have tape of your own students, feel free to use it. But I am going to use tape as a, as a little fastener here. It just makes it go by quicker. I wish I had enough tape for everybody. But I don't. I don't. Maybe next year this might be one of the things that I'll ask the students to bring in as part of their student supplies. <coughs> Maybe. Well, well, and I'm just going to take mine. I feel like I'm doing it all wrong. Taking it right in front of you. And I'll be sitting there saying, it's not fair. Of course, he can do it. He taped it. This glue would be impossible for us. <coughs> Once I get this part done, this part of it, I think it'll be easier. Right, let's see. I'm going to pull this back just a little bit. Lay this here. Okay, so I got that part done. Now the rest of it will be a little bit easier. It is a process, but hey, once I got the bottom of it taken care of, maybe what you need to do, children, is to glue the bottom part and hold it for a few minutes, and after that, the rest of it is easy to do. Okay, let's go ahead and talk through this part of it. That's a lot of fun. We don't get a lot of opportunities to do cutting and pasting and sixth grade math. Okay. So here we go. People said it could not be done, and it has 20 faces on it. And it made almost the shape of a ball. And when it was a flat net, when it was just a net, it, it gave no indication whatsoever that it would be like this. But here you can see it's like a, a faceted ball, uh, and, but it's got these 20 faces on it. And when I look at it like this, and you got five faces together, it looks a lot like a, pent a, a pentagon. And every time you turn around, you know, it looks like you can see five faces on the top, and it looks like a pentagon. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. All right, boys and girls, did I give you any good tips that you can use when you try to make your shapes? Yeah. All right, all right, what was the, you think was the best tip you got from this video? You could use tape. Well, tape, yeah, see, you can't use the tape. Yes, you? To make sure that you um, tape. 